Hello, welcome. This is Prince of Destruction. It's an action RPG that came out for the Mac sometime in the mid-90s, uh, right around the same time as Mantra, I believe. Uh, and I'm going to play it. That's a weird cursor. What does this mean? Oh, it's an info. Oh, that's strange. Uh, right, so compatible graphics are fine. Volume is extremely loud, but I can adjust that, so that's fine. Difficulty settings, I guess I'll just go with normal. Uh, sure, that's fine. Uh, this runs on an engine that can support multiple scenarios. There's a very janky editor for it that I used once to try to make my own thing, but never got very far. So just the one, Prince of Destruction, is available here. So I have four characters to choose from. We have uh, the Barbarian. Uh, there's his info. Uh, Archer. Elf, I guess. Okay, that's scrolls. I see. Magician. Which is not recommended for single-player play. This is... Oh, yeah. <laughs> it says... <laughs> uh, this is a multiplayer game. You can play it over a uh, local network. Or you could back in the day. I don't know how I would get that to work now. And Assassin. So I'm going to be playing as the Assassin, because I find her the most balanced character. Um, yep. Let's get started. Controls are weird and awkward. Uh, so it's it's the so-called tank controls. Uh, move forward, move back, turn left, turn right, walk, run. Uh, let's see. I can attack. I can throw a dagger. I can defend. And what else can I do? Um, inventory. I have three gold coins, two healing potions, leather armor, leather cap, sword, throwing knife. Cool. All right, controls. What am I forgetting here? Uh, that's most of it. If I were playing the magician, I'd have a few extras, but I'm not. Okay, so if I walk up to you... Okay, nothing happens. I have to talk. Hello, I am sorry to have summoned you here without asking. Since you left Nastaria years ago, things have gone amiss. Do you not remember? Nastaria is your home. You seem dazed and confused. It is probably teleport lag. Do not fear, your faculties will return. Um, let's see, it was amiss was the other keyword? Nestor, already old and feeble when you left, has died. Nestor was a good king. Vain, perhaps. Aloof, definitely. Arrogant on occasion, but his son... The young prince whom Nestor never intended to succeed him somehow undid Nestor's plans. The young prince, mm-hmm. Naturally enough, Nestor hoped to be succeeded by his daughter, Imria. Oops. Oh yeah, so if I, if I just type gibberish, he says this. Like many people, I have a limited vocabulary. You will find that most everyone understands the words name, place, and job. It's And it's impolite not to reply to a friendly greeting like hello. So there's a bit of a story dump here. This won't take super long. Uh, so name, place, job. I do not give out my name lightly. This is the emergence. Where that which binds touches the surface of reality, blah, 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 Nexus, system, teleporters. Uh, subjects, travel easy throughout his realm, the prince. Right, Imria was the next, uh... Last I heard, Imria fled the city, hunted by her brother, the prince. Astaria, the city is the seat of the prince's power, fill the troops, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Imria's current whereabouts, okay. Anyway, um, so I could talk to this person who is not giving me his name and get a little more story, but the gist of it is I was summoned here from a different world, uh, back to my homeland, Nastaria, to set things right and uh, get rid of the... Oh, that was weird. Get rid of Grishnach, the Prince of Destruction, um, who is Nestor's son. Nestor was the old, uh, old ruler and had a son and a daughter, Imria and Grishnach. So, I got a key. Uh, I could open that door and fight that thing, or I could go in here. Those are teleporters. Uh, leveling up in this game involves reading books. My toughness is 10 right now. That's that's actually my, my health. 
Uh, level zero, power, accuracy, defense. If I read this book right here, the Tome of Tomes, it explains the basics of survival skills. For further information, see the Tome of Knowledge. Uh, so, I now have 11 hit points, 4 power, and 3 defense. So that leveled me up by 1. I'm level 1. Uh, this strange system here... I could pull this lever or leave it. This is how I control the teleporter destinations. It's a little bit unintuitive. Uh-huh, that can stay. What is that? Oh, I guess I... Let's see, I forgot one important command. Uh, search. Can I search here? I have my... I'm using a... Uh, I'm using a controller, and that's, that's a lot of keybinds, so I'm going to have to refer back to this and remember how I've set it up. The keyboard controls did not work very well with this emulator, so controller seems a little better. So going through that teleporter takes you to this strange place, which I believe... Who is this? Greetings and salutations. A keeper. Keeper? You're not going to understand that, are you? Nope. So that's the gibberish you get if you say uh, something it doesn't recognize. Convergence. Near and far are as one here, but the machinery is currently inactive. The great machine is asleep, but when wo woken it can bridge the distances. The machine was shut down by the prince. He took a vital part and the access key and placed them under guard in Artifort. That's a place here. It's this one. Okay, vital part in Artifort. The access key is needed to get to the machine's inner working and replace the crystal resonator. If you have the crystal, put it on yonder pedestal and it will restore the mechanism. Uh-huh. An earlier visitor, Morgan the Fay, tried to return the orb. He must have brought it somewhat closer than Artifort, for I can feel its vibrations. Okay, so crystal is not an Artifort. Crystal glows and pulses with an inner life of its own. Okay, so I'm looking for a crystal somewhere. Alright, right, so that's the pedestal. That's the door, so I need the key, and I need the crystal. And that will restore the mechanism. I believe... let's see, I played this not too long ago. I believe what that means is all of these are little teleporters. They will start working once I bring the crystal... Oh, uh, once I bring the crystal back. Let me just make sure none of them work right now. I'm pretty sure they don't. This is this is sort of a teleporter hub. I think I think you can activate these from the other side and they'll take you places. Anyway, so there's not much I can do here. Just get a little bit of information from the keeper. And this is come on, turn. <laughs> Turning's a little janky. It's hard to hard to get it to do it sometimes. Alright, let's go fight something. So in order to get out of here. I have to pull the lever in each one of these rooms, and that changes the teleporter destination so I can get out. Because otherwise I would just go back the way I came. Okay. Uh, I don't think I can take a second master key. I already have one. But that lets me open this door. And get in a fight. Let's try knives. Those worked. <laughs> some stuff in this corpse. What did I get? Uh, I believe I got a healing potion. I think I only had two before. So that's good. There aren't a whole lot of ways to heal in this game, so the potions are pretty important. Now here where the ground is all, uh, yeah, there are lots of footprints here. Search the area. You disbelieved in an illusory wall. So here's another way I can go. There's lots of ways to go. Uh, I don't think I want to go this way yet. Let me, um, let me save my game. Uh, sure, whatever. So I'll take a quick peek in here. This is this is kind of above my level, as I recall. But maybe I can get some good loot out of it, possibly. Those things do a huge amount of damage, so I don't want to let them touch me. I think if I pull this, it maybe stops them. Leave the lever down. Are those stopped? 
Yes, 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 go away. Yeah, that stops it. Cool. Now, does that stay pulled, I wonder? There's some things to fight. Oops. Eh. Turn. These guys usually don't have anything on them. So I don't expect to get any loot at all from these. No loose change in this corpse. Yep. So I took two hits. That does turn back on, but the lever will let me get out more easily. So, like I said, this is not a place I really want to be now. I uh, don't want to take on that thing. He would kill me very quickly. I think in every direction there are enemies that are way too tough for me right now. Uh, yeah, I don't want to tangle with those. <laughs> oh, man. The sound design of these old games is always really silly for some reason. That's a lot of you guys. I could maybe survive this, but it's not entirely likely. If they wander away just a little bit, I could, like, pick one off from a distance, possibly. Ooh. Okay, I threw a bunch of knives, killed two of them. Their corpses are there, which means there's stuff in them. Okay. Okay. What did I get? Five healing potions. I'll just keep that inventory screen up so I can see. I want to use a healing potion now. Uh, yes. Okay. So that restored, what was that, five health? Something like that. Is it three knives? Yeah, three knives to kill one of those. Ouch. I could use my sword. Okay, I'm alive. Somehow. Alright. So I made a tidy profit on healing potions from that. Even though I need to use one or two now. Uh, um, how's my controls? There we go. Uh, use, use another. Okay, so I survived that room at least. I'm gonna take a peek in these. There's something good in one of them. Not sure I can manage to actually get it though. I don't think there's anything useful in there. That's just a bunch of guys to fight for no good reason. I might check it though. Let's see what's in here. So two gazers and one of those tough guys. He's, he, I think he's immune to my knives. I can, I can try them relatively safely to find out for sure. They don't go very far. Yeah, that doesn't hurt him. So as I recall, that guy's holding a really nice sword, but I might not even be able to damage him right now, so I'm not going to try and die. So I'll come back there later and claim the sword from him. Okay, so let's leave this place. Oh, pull, pull down. And go where I'm actually supposed to go. Uh, which one of these is it? Is one of these in and one out? Or, okay, well that's just not active. Hmm. I'm not sure how you activate that, if at all. Okay. So, over here... Two of those guys, they go down pretty easy. He's stuck in a tree or something. Alright, nothing on you. Nothing on you. I happen to know... Oh, hey. Those are the weakest enemies, so they're not much of a threat usually. I happen to know there's something right here. So another cave I could go into. I'm not sure I want to yet. Yeah, let's do that later. Okay, so I'll come there at some point. But I should go down here first. Oh no. Oh no. I spent a lot of time playing this when I was younger, so I still remember most of it pretty well. Okay, so nothing on you. I should keep this up, although I also want to see where I am on the map. Although, eh, the map's not that interesting, really. Oh man, he got me. Hey, wait, there's something weird in the corner there. Is that... Should I search that? <clears throat> okay, turn, turn, attack. There we go. Search. Aha! 20 gold pieces hidden under the floorboards. Cool. Alright, so I now have 23 gold coins. Great. I thought that looked suspicious. Lots of dead people. What happened here? 
Okay, that one I can't even search. This has probably also been stripped of its valuables. Uh, search. Cor corpse has been stripped of its valuables, yep. And this one, presumably? Yeah. Okay, so I'm in a town. Let's see, that's city, palace, town. Well, now, hang on. Town and Artiford look the same. I think I'm in town and this one's Artiford. Maybe. Or maybe I'm in Artiford and that one's town. I don't know. Hm. Not the best of maps. Ow. I think somewhere in here is a way I can heal without using potions. Do you have anything on you? Probably not. No. Nobody's gonna have anything on them. So yeah, I don't believe I get any experience from killing enemies. You only only level up by reading. So if somebody doesn't drop anything, it does me no good to uh, to kill them. I don't think there's anything hidden on this screen, but I'm gonna check. This is the sort of place a video game would hide something. But I don't think... Yeah, there's nothing here. I sure wish the controls worked a little bit differently. Okay, this is a mine entrance, I believe. Have some knives. Oops, that one missed. Okay, so I'm... I'm hurting a good bit. Should be careful. The sign says, the mines. The additional words, no children under the age of eight to work within, have been crossed out. <laughs> okay, so child labor going on here. Uh. Hey, guys. Come have some knives. Or I could just leave them alone, because these guys never have anything on them. So I really don't get anything out of doing this. I guess I guess what I get out of doing this is safe passage when I come back to the screen later. So maybe that's worthwhile. Now is this where... No, that's just a bunch of... Okay, so this is not a friendly place. Is Everybody's either dead or out to kill me. Alright, so that's safe. If a corpse has something on it, it will uh, still be there when I leave the screen and come back. So yeah, none of those do. This tower has some good stuff in it, but I don't think I can take it on right now. I will after I've healed up and maybe equipped a little better. I feel like the one place with the 20 gold hidden in the floorboards is the only... And the stuff in that tower is the only good stuff I can find in this town. Okay, so I can throw those across a table. Ow. Ooh. I should, uh... If I'm gonna be in combat anymore, I should really drink a potion. Yeah, I should just drink one right now. That's the smart thing to do. Uh, you walked off screen. Okay, that's fine. So I have never... I've spent a lot of time playing this game. I've never finished it. There are some very large, elaborate mazes later that caused me a lot of aimless wandering. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get through them this time. Ooh, more guards come if I wait there. Do they have any good stuff on them? I want to find out. Yeah, so there are sections of this game where it's just, like, room after room of huge, intricate maze that seems to go nowhere. Um, so I'm gonna have to deal with that in some way. If those... let's see, I think those only are gonna spawn once. I wanna know if they have healing potions on them, because those are a precious resource. No loose change. No loose change, so no. There's a forest path here that leads, I think, to a teleporter that goes someplace, maybe? Ah, eh. oh, man, this is super annoying to navigate with these controls. Come on, turn, run. Alright, hopefully there's something I can get over here, but I feel like there's not right now. 
It's like something for later or a... Okay, so one of these little teleporters. Does this take me back to the convergence or... No, it just doesn't work. Okay, so I think I need to get the crystal first and all of those little teleports will activate. Then I can use the teleporter hub as a hub to, uh, to go back to places like this. Of course, none of those in the in the place were marked, so I'm going to have to just learn what each destination is and remember, or write it down or something. Alright, so, ooh, ooh, that doesn't go well. Let's go there. I see, because the, the path was blocked on the other screen. Okay, so here's another town. Uh, Wygard, I guess? I want to leave these guys alone. Um, let's see, that's a shop. I'm not going there just yet. You. I happen to know you are a healer. Welcome to my humble chapel. How may I serve you? May the spirits keep you safe. Surely you commune with spirits. Are not messages sent to you through the all-disturbing... What? I am no. I heal the sick. May the goddess smile upon you. Great, thank you. Where am I? This is a temple where we worship the nature spirits. Okay, great. You heal me when I say heal. That's all I need to know. <laughs> Let's go shopping. The sign says, Lugo's Legendary Loot. Genuine customers welcome. Thieves will be severely dealt with. Just in case I accidentally do something that makes, me th makes him think I'm thieving, I'm gonna save. I don't know if there's a way to rob this shop. Uh, goods, uh, prices are fixed but reasonable. Okay. So what am I using right now? S sword. My sword is called Sword. Okay, leather armor, leather cap, throwing knife. Alright. Now, not every character can use every piece of equipment. Excalibur, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, sword of the East. Uh huh. Magic throwing knife. That sounds like a thing that I would like. Ancient Tome. Okay, right. Tome of Knowledge. That's a thing that would level me up. That sounds like a thing I would like. Although they're fairly plentiful, so I might not want to waste my money. I'm not sure if money is renewable. It might be a limited resource. Enchanted bow. I can't use bows. Healing potion. Cool. Ooh. Okay, that's something I'm going to want someday. Disable traps into a nester. Cool. Magic helmet. Maybe. Shield. Uh huh. Plate armor. I don't think... I think this character can use plate. I think only the barbarian can. Yes, yes, shut up. Shut up. Okay, so let's see. Can I talk to you? Lugo. I own the store. I am Lugo himself. Look around. Tell me if you want to buy or sell something. My prices are fixed but reasonable. Uh, okay, if I wanted to buy... Uh, Excalibur at 50. Let's see. Moviator's Sword at 30. How much money? I have 23. Just short of being able to afford the knife. Or the Tome of Knowledge. Merlin Staff. Healing Potion. Scroll Armory. Scroll Nestor's Tomb. Arthur's Helmet. Okay, so I think I probably... I need more money. I would like the knife for sure, because I know she can use that. Let's see, now that I'm healed up, I can fairly safely explore this place. So these guys, I believe, don't care about me unless I attack them first. These over on this screen do. Let's clear this out. Uh, let's see, best place to stand for that is going to be... Hey, move. Here, I think. Not. This will work eventually. Alright, got one. He hasn't seen me yet. I'll try taking on the black sword guy. 
Uh, mm -hmm. right, move. So if I'm if I'm close, he'll try to to hit me with the the butt of his weapon. If I'm far away, he'll use the blade. So he's kind of dumb. So it's kind of better to close the distance with those. All right. Can I damage you at all? Not with the knife, I think. Can I sword you? No. Sword does nothing. And you hurt me a lot. Yeah. So those those guys in the black armor are much tougher. I need a better sword before I can take them on. I know where I can get one, other than this shop, so maybe I should go there. I'll explore this area a little bit more first. How close do I have to be for this? Closer. Okay, great. So since those did not attack me unless I attacked first, I'm just going to walk through their place and see what's... What's on the second floor of it? A platter? Whoa! Unhappy people. Okay, so I would have to take on more than I can handle at the moment. Up there. Uh, this is a place. Yeah, okay, I need, I need a better weapon. Oh, hey, here's somebody. Quick, over here. Speak softly, if you please. I am Jason. I do this and that. I know a lot of people. People who have to be very careful. People who have lots of enemies. Enemies of great power and influence. Blah, 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 blah. Get to the point. Enemies eyes and ears. Not to mention soldiers and other minions everywhere. Big guys with pole axes and strangers against strangers. Uh, how did I get here? Uh, soldiers and other minions everywhere. Uh, his servants are everywhere, but he is not omnipotent. We will defeat him eventually. When I say we, I speak in the abstract. Humanity, the forces of history. Mm hmm. There are rumors of an organized resistance to him. If the resistance exists, it must be very hard to join. To join such an organization, one would have to prove one's worth. Otherwise, how could one be trusted? So speaking in the hypothetical, how might I prove my worth? To prove one's worth, one would have to perform a deed so useful to the resistance that it would outweigh the damage potentially caused by one's betrayal. Okay. Breaking into the tall building to the east and killing the garrison commander might well be such a deed, but getting into that building might not be easy. Gotcha. So that tower with the stuff on the second floor, mm-hmm. Okay, so break in there, kill the guy, come back and talk to Jason, and maybe he'll have something for me. Oh, this tower, I see. Okay. I don't think he means this tower, I think he means this one. Uh, I'm not sure I'm ready for that, but I might... Hmm. This guy talks weird. Uh huh. Ain't got a job. Uh, it's an inn. He doesn't say much. His name is Norm or Snorm or something. I don't remember what that guy does, if anything. Can I steal your armor? Whoa. If I attack you, will your friend get mad? Ooh, you have some defense. Alright, I took him down. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna run away. I wanna get into... Come on now. I'm gonna get into a better position before I take those on. Okay. So if I'm ready for you... Let's see. You might have forgotten about me. Yeah, you did. Okay. Good, those two are down. Can I have your armor? Ring mail, cool. Can I use your armor? Great! Okay, so that should be more defense, let's see. So arm six, def three, uh, leather armor was... Okay, so that doubled my chest armor, cool. All right, got an upgrade, great. I bet I still can't damage you. 
I could maybe run in real quick and steal your chest. Oh wait, I can damage him. Uh, okay, okay, so that changes things. That means I want to fight. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, I want to heal before I do that, unless I can just... Let's see, it took me seven to four, so I would survive another hit. Let's see if I can just get to a good position, throw some knives. And be able to... No, 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 bad position, bad position. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Combat is more than a bit janky. Alright, I'm going to wait for you to wander down there. That's a better place. Uh, no. I don't want to melee you. That's way too dangerous. Okay. So from here, if I can just... I'm going to try it. Oh, I died. When did I last save? Just down here. Okay. Okay. I think it auto-saves. Yeah, that's an auto-save. Let me try that one more time. I should go heal first, and I'd have a better chance. But I feel like I should be able to do this somehow, just like this. Alright, he's dumb and doesn't quite know how to get to me. Maybe I can use that to my advantage. Got him. Cool. Alright, what did I get? I got a Tome of Knowledge. I'm going to use it. Okay. You read the Tome of Knowledge. You feel more knowledgeable. The Tome falls apart as you read it. Okay, so I leveled up again. Great. He might have had some healing potions or something on him, but nothing else. Discussing old clothes and a few gold coins. Okay, great. So I would have enough to buy that knife. Alright, so I got an armor upgrade. I can buy a knife upgrade, which I'm going to do now. Uh, I need a better sword, and I know where to get one. So, uh, that's this place mostly explored, I think. Let me, let me just see what the exact bounds of this town are. If there's more to the south that I haven't seen, or if that just goes on to more of the world. So, heal up. I wish I could run faster. This is as fast as it goes. Can I heal through the wall, or do I have to actually be in there? Cool. Heal through the wall. I would like to buy... a knife. Okay. And equip. Uh, so let's see. Uh, range 6, damage 2. Range 10, damage 3. Great. So that should throw farther, it sounds like. Oh yeah, throws a lot farther. Cool! So I'm just gonna check down here. Real quick. I think this takes me out of town. Yeah, that takes me out of town. Okay, so some sort of tower thing there. Oh, can't go that way for some reason. Oh yeah, and a big fort there. I remember that. Some dude to talk to. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to go back to the beginning and go into that cave that I saw there, because I know that has a better sword in it. Uh, and it should be of the appropriate difficulty for for my level and gear level right now. Yeah. Uh, let me see if this knife can deal any damage to you. The last one couldn't. Yes, it can. Okay. Occasionally. Problem is, I have to get away, then turn around, which takes forever. And then hit you with it from a distance. Got him! Okay, great. Uh, he had nothing. Great. <laughs> so that was pointless. Alright, well, anyway. Um, I will stop right here, I think. Uh, I'll go back to the cave at the beginning and work on getting the sword out of it next time. And I'll see you then for that.